Blondie, your costume looks adorable. I love it. I said I wanted to be the queen bee, not a queen bee. <laughs> Welcome back to How to Cake It, I'm Yolanda. Halloween is just days away and we are gonna make a haunted house cake. <laughs> and when I say we, do I have a surprise for you? Someone is gonna make her way out from behind the camera and help me decorate this haunted house cake. Isn't that right, Jocelyn? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Let's get started. I have baked two 11 by 15 inch cakes that are marbled. They're actually vanilla and chocolate cake. The vanilla cake has been dyed orange and purple and the chocolate cake has been dyed black. I'm going to remove these cakes from their pans, level them and remove the caramelization from the bottom. For all the step-by-step -step details on how I achieved this pattern in my cake and for the exact dyes I used for my batter, head to howtocakeit.com and read my blog for this episode. Also, we have an exclusive Halloween cupcake recipe from Nick from the Scran line at howtocakeit.com. It is only available there. <laughs> Are you a 90 year old witch? I'd rather be a 90 year old witch than a uh, queen bee. <laughs> I'm using two gingerbread house kits that I got at a local store. It's actually like a haunted gingerbread house. I'm gonna cut my cakes into slabs that fit inside my gingerbread houses, just like I did in my Christmas gingerbread house video. First, I'm gonna cut my cake slabs to be wide enough, and then I'm gonna cut my cakes deep enough to fit the depth of my house. I'm gonna keep this third piece of cake because I might need it to build up height. But for now, I'm gonna cut my second slab of cake into the exact same measurements. Oh, mommy, I need some help. You look great in your costume, Mr. Squeeze a lot. I know, I told him I wanted to be Queen Bee. I know, the Queen, I know, I know. You can pick up Sir Squeeze and all his costumes at howtocakeit.com. It's time to stack and fill my cake layers with Italian meringue buttercream, and I wanna make sure that they're high enough for the tallest peak of my haunted house. I'm placing my cake on a big board that will give me some room for decorations around the house. You might have noticed often when I fill square cakes, I like to just put an extra dollop on the corners. This is because sometimes I find when you put on the next layer, you tend to like dip in, and I don't want it to be lower and build a cake that starts to look like this. I like to scrape away the excess buttercream from the sides of my cake as I build it up. I use an icing spatula to do this because it helps me to see that my cake is lining up straight as I build. But don't put that buttercream back into your beautiful bowl of buttercream. Scrape it aside in a separate bowl. You can use it to crumb coat. The top peak of my gingerbread house is seven and a half inches tall, but right now my cake is only six inches tall. So I'm actually gonna use my last two slabs of cake. I need to trim one to fit two together to make one more layer of cake. Now I'm gonna chill this cake so the buttercream is nice and firm so I can cut the shape of my roofs. Roofs? Yeah. My cake is chilled and what I wanna do is line up my front pieces of gingerbread house and my back pieces of gingerbread house to help me cut the roofs. I'm just gonna spread on a little pat of buttercream onto each one of my gingerbread cookies. That will help stick it to my cake just for now so that I can make my marks and know where to cut. Just carefully remove the slabs of gingerbread from your cake. Following the marks I made on both sides of my cake, I'm going to cut the peaks of the roofs. Here I go. Jocelyn, can you tell me if I'm lining up on the front line? No, you're... Uh... Oh, good, we're off to a good start. <laughs> Just fit your knife within the grooves that you've created and slowly cut down, checking both sides 
So you carve your roofs away. Ta-da! Remember all that crummy buttercream you had? You can actually use it to crumb coat your cake. You can watch me make my Italian meringue buttercream. There's a link to the video below. I just love it for crumb coating. This cake is crumb coated, but now it needs to chill. Oh, what? Look at that. <laughs> My crown coat is chilled, so it's time to add a nice layer of icing over top. Stabilizer. I love this tool. It keeps my bowl safely in place. Boo, boo, boo. Every single episode is going to be a different song. <laughs> My cake is iced, it needs to chill again, but in the meantime, to make my haunted house extra creepy, I'm gonna paint all the windows and doors with some black food coloring, because the house is haunted. Wow, oh God. I'm using a concentrated black liquid food coloring, and then I'm gonna use a nice small brush and basically paint within the lines of the house. The painting is done. These gingerbread walls are ready to go onto my house. I would never enter this house. I'm gonna start by adding the sides to my house. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of buttercream. Make sure they stick. Now I'm gonna add the front and back to my house. Once again, adding a bit more buttercream as glue. These doors are gonna get even scarier when we decorate. You know what else is scary? The thought of Jocelyn helping me decorate <laughs> my gingerbread house. I did well on Camp Cake. I did very okay, well okay. on Camp Cake. Jocelyn did well on Camp Cake decorating a cupcake. If you miss Camp Cake in the summer, we're having a holiday edition of Camp Cake. Woo! Yeah! Ho, ho, ho! Yes! So you will have another chance to bake with me live in December. And Jocelyn, I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> okay, next two slabs of gingerbread. It's time to add the pieces of my roof. They are scored so that I can just break them apart. But I just wanna trim some of these little bits and make sure that they fit my custom house. I don't just build houses for Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I build them for spooky people who live in dark houses that I would not enter. The other reason it's okay to cut up extra pieces of gingerbread that you have, like this piece right here, because we're gonna end up covering this whole roof with decorations, royal icing, and candy. So no one will know you're behind that window screaming to be <laughs> rescued. I've done my part, Jocelyn. I think this haunted house is ready for decoration. Jocelyn, are you ready to come join me on how to cake it? Hold on, hold on. Jocelyn's just touching up her makeup. Here she comes. <laughs> this is, well, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> I am playing myself the queen ghost of how to cake it. What do you think? I, I think you're like one of the happiest ghosts I've ever seen. Well, definitely. I'm definitely not a scary you're ghost. You're the giggly ghost. I'm gonna ghost. suck at that job. So, can you at least show your actual face in December's camp cake? Yeah, I will. I'll definitely be back on the next camp cake. Okay. I'm December just, 10th. I'm already gonna think about what I want you to do. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm having a little trouble seeing, but we'll get through this. We'll oh, get through okay. this. I'm gonna be a great assistant. I have like a ton of candy. I'm using these red candy eyeballs and I'm gonna glue them in place with some black royal icing to the inside of all of my windows. I was thinking of using the licorice and making like some pillars. Okay. Look, look can we leave this footage in of Jocelyn just holding a knife? In the <laughs> so make sure yep. to keep the piping bag closed at the top because if you just start squeezing here it'll Ah, out the other end. Got it. Okay. okay. So squeeze with my thumb there. Yeah, and you can use your your fist, but make sure your thumb is holding down like the fold. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. 
We have this gap. We have to address the gap like between the houses. So I'm thinking a bunch of bones and skulls are like are exploding, just falling out of the house. Yes. I'm okay. Eat a skull. Must be nice. Oh, you have no mouth. I can help you. <laughs> well, I have some red, blood red royal icing. Fill it up and pile it up with bones and skulls. Done. Right? Love and it. And this will help it all stick together. The evil cannot be contained in this house any longer. I'll put a link in the description below of where you can get these fabulous bones and yeah. skulls. Yeah, you definitely need these for Halloween. I'd like to do the roof next. Okay. I have black royal icing and I thought we could just like use these little offset spatulas to just slather it okay. all over the roof. I want it to look like a roof that's about to cave in. Cheers. Spatula. Oh yeah, what's our song? Got a cake of Come on. That was a good episode. Okay, now I'll apply it and you apply texture because you have the nice pointed one. And then we can use some more royal icing as glue and stick these like on all the rooftops. Perfect. Like, I thought we were doing red. Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's do red so it like oozes out from under the beams. Yes. Oh, look at that! It's not gonna stay, it's gonna drop. It's too heavy. <gasps> but that's cool! Ew. <laughs> wow, we're easily amused. <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna find a way to get an eyeball in here. Should I drop it through your eye? Your eye? <laughs> no, I think that, that would actually... <laughs> no, I'm just gonna... Just stick out your tongue. I'm just gonna go this way. Wow. And it's gone. There needs to be like eyeballs looking out. How are we gonna get them to stay up there? A lot of royal icing. A lot of royal icing. So you just <laughs> hold those there. And you're just gonna have a, a gummy worm break. I'll see you in an hour. Mm. I don't know if this is gonna work, y'all. I'm just gonna be honest with you. You know, I didn't invite you here to be negative. <laughs> I was thinking a skull face okay. on, over each door. So this is a mold that we got and you filled this with melted white chocolate. Mm -hmm. I melted some bright white candy melts as well as some regular white candy melts together. We're gonna use some of this melted white chocolate for glue. Oh. <laughs> Crown down! Crown down! I'm gonna add a little bit of melted chocolate to the flat part of my chocolate skull. I think our next step has to be to build the wasteland of a lawn. I have a bowl of chocolate ganache here and I have some Oreo, chocolate Oreo crumbs. I actually over stirred my ganache so that it would be, it would split and now it looks kind of grainy and disgusting. I was thinking Jocelyn, I'll spread on the ganache, which okay. is like the glue. Perfect. And you can toss on the crumbs. The only dirt that you eat. Correct. Perfect. I thought we could add a little bit of this black sparkly sugar in our dirt. Done. Even though it's like decaying, it's still on fleek. I have some other chocolate molds that I prepared. I have tombstones Whoa. and scary green hands. You don't want this. Oh, I just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave myself laryngitis. <laughs> if you don't want me to come get you, Subscribe to How to Get it. This is a new low, guys. We're now threatening you to yes, subscribe. Yes. That's great. Awesome. Oh, you know what we should have been singing? Where's I am, where I am, where I am. These bats kind of look like bow ties. 
<laughs> don't they? Yeah, they're they do. upside down. They do. More bats? I don't know. I think we're batted up. You know what I'm saying? Batter up. Batter up. Spider webs. <laughs> the one thing about cotton candy is it really just disintegrates in your hands, the moisture, and even in the air. So you want to hold it sort of with your fingertips. Is our architectural feet done? I think so. Oh, let's get a selfie before before we forget. Do you have your phone? <laughs> <laughs> You have the I Heart Cake fly grip. I don't have that one yet. I change my fly grip weekly. <laughs> of course you do. Because I can. <laughs> Thanks for watching How to Cake It. I hope you enjoyed the haunted house. Come in anytime. <laughs> you, just, you just can't let that go. I think I'm really scary. It looks marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Oh, no. What, what's, what's happening, Yolanda? To, to You're fluttering hand. around the kitchen like mad, <laughs> making me very nervous. Uh, the queen bee is upset. The queen bee Not, is... Sorry, our queen bee is upset. You're buzzing around. <laughs> Please subscribe to this channel and make sure to check out my Halloween playlist. <laughs> Tell me which cake you're going to make. <laughs> You're supposed to respond. What do you mean? Respond to what? The sound. You can't pretend like it's not oh. happening. It's okay. okay. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe, everyone. Subscribe. <laughs> just, just forget it. Forget it.